Hi, this is Rachel with Razzle Crafts, and I have a project um, that I created yesterday that I wanted to share with you. So this is a little portfolio that I made with a digital kit from Shabby Dabby Duda. Um, it's her nativity kit. And um, I decided to do it as like shabby chic. And uh, this is some pink seam binding that I used. Let's see, let's go ahead and open that. And what I did is I have some um, white ribbon and then this baby blue satin ribbon on top and um, this blue bow that's from a digi kit of hers. And I just kind of uh, did some stickles on there and I stickled some other places on around the pretty mostly around the edges on them I just like the plants and things not the animals or people so that is the outside and then in here <clears throat> I have this pocket I have this um, fold out area Let's see. Oh, excuse me um, I don't know, a trifold. So these are um, miniature pages that I, I printed four to a sheet. Um, so two of them are actually, I just cut it across and the other one I glued on. But um, I just figured uh, they're just, someone could put pictures or they could, you know, whatever they want on there <laughs> and on the back side I decorated it with this is from the embellishment kit put some lace and this pretty deer in the frame and this says snow is falling and I put just a little bit of gold uh, what is that called um it's those little paint sticks but they it turned out really pretty and um so on the back side, I just put some coffee dyed paper on there. So that's usable. And in this pocket, this one I just love. It turned out so cute. So I used this blue pom-pom trim that I had. I think I got this at Easter time. And um, I tied this pretty little pink bow and I used some more of that white lace. And there's Mary with the little baby, so adorable. And I cut, um, this is a 5 8 paper punch. And then I used this little blue brad to make a policy closure. And I kind of just like stickled again, kind of around the edges, tried to stay away from people and animals. It's mostly the plants and things. And I backed it um, with some book page, um, coffee dyed book page. And this, um, I took this, these are those little notebooks that you can get in a pack um, from Dollar Tree. And I took the pages off and I coffee dyed them. And then I used hot glue to reattach them to the board. And I was kind of wishing I um, added more of the pages back, but um, I was a little worried about being too bulky. So there is that. Let's go this way so we can get under there. And this was just some blue kind of twine that I had. I think I got this from the Dollar Tree um, a year or two ago. Well, there's there's that little notebook. Um, and then I also made this one. That's kind of like a little folder again. And I put um, more papers over here. And this, this is from her digital kit, uh, her ephemera digital kit. And I just tore out the little deer, glued it on there. Um, I was trying to keep this one from being too bulky because I already had this one that was bulky. And I already showed you the fold, fold out. And I also used um, a couple of the, I don't know if they're journaling cards or whatnot, and um, I used my 5 8 punch to make a little thumb hole so you could tell that those are pockets. And in this one, I made a little tiny little notebook. 
and I put a little bit of those um, the ephemera kit in there and I just thought um, I cut her out of one of the big pages and put a frame behind her put one of these labels that comes with the kit and this uh, special handling that's with the kit as well some of that blue satin ribbon I just love these little the wise men on the camel are just so cute <laughs> So cool. <clears throat> so I have that tucked in there. And then I took a couple of the little the journaling cards right here. And um, oh, this one's actually one of the pages that was shrunk down. But I wanted to go ahead and use it. And so I just like vintage photo um, distressed the back. This is one of the little ephemera pieces. And I just tuck those in here. And that is everything that I made for this little project. And I went ahead and put a little bit of glue to hold this on because myself, I like lose things and um, I didn't want the person to have to worry about um, keeping track of the ribbon when they're using it or, you know, that, that sort of thing. So um, it is attached on the back and then it can just be tied like this. And I think it just turned out so pretty and so beautiful. Just love the shabby chicness of it. And um, I have a friend in mind that I would like, um, that I'm going to gift it to. Um, she's in my small group. And um, so we are meeting up. Let's see. Um, oh, it's soon. I don't know. Maybe it's this Sunday this coming Sunday, like after church, something like that. And we're doing a little gift exchange. So um, that's going to be fun. And so I hope you guys enjoyed um, seeing what I made. I hope it gives you a little inspiration or you, maybe you just enjoyed seeing it. And um, I hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.